use in all of your heavy duty gym training equipment for the highest quality athletes. NordicFitLife.com.au. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first boxing out of the blue cutter. Tonight, this man wears the black trunks. He weighed in 72.55 kilograms, holding a perfect professional record, seven fights, seven wins, all but one of those coming by way of knockout. Trained by Blair Studley, fighting out of Nitro Boxing and Fitness, ladies and gentlemen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red cutter. Tonight, this man wears the black trunks. He weighed in 72.5 kilograms, holding a professional record, 23 fights, 16 wins, four losses, three draws, eight big wins, coming by way of knockout. Trained by Benny Horowitz, Jerry Murphy. He fights out of Murphy's Boxing Gym in Melbourne, Victoria, presenting the reigning, defending ANBF Australian middleweight champion, Tej Pratel. The action gets underway, your referee, Mr. Steve Marshall. You come, fellas. Well, yeah, fellas, I spoke to you both in the dressing room, you know exactly what I expect. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. Touch them up and get back to your corner. Good luck. Well, here is the big test for Isaac Hardman. We get to see what he's made of against Tay Singh, who we know all too well. And they race to centre ring, both in the black trunks, but the styles will tell you the difference. Absolutely, Hardman just looking here, just touching, touching, touching with several punches. Obviously, his combinations are going to be key, and he started with that already. Singh walking forward as he does, but not throwing punches at this early stage. Hardman trying to find a gap through that very tight guard of Tay Singh. Gets around the sides and goes to the body and good variety early on from Isaac Hardman, keeping him at a good range too. Yeah, just some range finders is doing there, Ben, just touching, just getting his combinations in check. But the key is, as you say, he's throwing many punches. Seeing just happy to look, feel the power or the technique at the moment. Not doing much, but I'm sure he will. Just pressing forward as he does, just takes little steps towards you chops in with those right hands over the top and a left to the body if he can find it but Hardman just touching him yeah very relaxed just getting through going to the body nicely too yeah Hardman doesn't look like he's putting anything too overzealous into his punches but he's just feeling his way around this first round just just um, sizing up his opponent got his distance perfect already Singh, still pressing forward, just looking for those chopping right hands. There it is, good shot from Singh on the inside, Hardman. The way Singh bends over, Hardman would land a right uppercut very, very nicely. It's, it's, it's the punch waiting to happen. Singh found an opening there for his left hands. Good shot. Hardman goes well to the body and takes another of those left hands. Watch your heads. Watch your heads in there. Now he's on the inside, is Hardman. That's where Singh wants him to be. Let's see how things progress if they do get in time. Yeah, looking by the um, trajectory of this fight, Hardman needs to keep it long. Just keep touching them long punches, getting all them combinations out. It'll be a comfortable night for him if he keeps it there. Patience the key for Isaac Hardman in a fight like this. Patience, not something we've seen a lot from him. He likes to get rid of them. Mm. 
He Could likes be. to get it done and look spectacular. Watch Working on the inside, the pair of them. An uppercut from Singh. A couple of good uppercuts from Singh. Hardman works to the body, and Singh just keeps pouring in that left-hand uppercut. Stop! Good work. Wonderful first Opening round, round blue by between Hardman and Singh. Good action, and well, he's learned a fair bit, I think, in that first three minutes, Isaac Hardman. And he knows he's up against a really tough and rugged man. Yeah, absolutely. He wasn't trying to kill him in, in any way, shape, or form. He was just touching, just feeling, just searching, just getting his distance and range right, as you can see, working the body, looking for the openings. And it was just it was almost like a dry run for what he's going to do when he picks up the power and the energy. Good work on the inside there from both guys. The only time we've seen Isaac Hardman tested so far in his professional boxing career was against the promoter's friend Mitchell Whitelaw, who turns up to fight anyone, anywhere, at any time. Took him the distance. Majority decision victory for Hardman in a really close fight. Nice and tidy. Outside of that, well, he's never been out of the third round and he's got four first round stoppages. Yeah, Hardman's already thrown eight or nine punches with nothing in receipt from Singh. But Singh's just happy to take these on the gloves and the arms and around the sides until he can get in tight and make it something that resembles the fight that he wants. Hmm. Now he presses forward and opens up a little bit more, and there are opportunities there for Hardman. Yeah, he catches Hardman there with a nice left hand. Good shots from Singh on the inside, getting his confidence. Uppercuts are good too from Singh. Very nice. I'd like to see Hardman take half a step back. He doesn't need to be right on him like that. His distance fighting is much more effective with his jab and long range punches. Good accuracy from Tay Singh. Throws a really nice left hand that gets through and he's growing in confidence as Singh. He is indeed. Hardman, happy to have him at close quarters, but he shouldn't be. No, he doesn't need that at all. Continues to eat those left-handed uppercuts from Singh. And a straight left hand and a right hand. Still working there is Hardman, but needs to take that step back. There's nothing on. There's the Don't mouth guard out. comes out and Good straight support. away. Take it back. No, take it back. <laughs> He's like, no, take COVID don't matter. <laughs> Not in properly. Let's just take it. Don't worry. Let's make sure it's in properly. All right. Little break in proceedings. It's been good action, though, this round. And Great from Tayshin. Yeah, really good. Um, first round, he didn't do much at all, but he really picked it up and has put the aggression one step up. But Hardman, if he stays on in, in the pocket there, he's fighting the wrong fight for me. He could make this fight much, much easier for himself. He's obviously got the faster hands, the much better combination punching, but to take that step in and just wait, it's probably not the best strategy. As mentioned, he needs to show patience in this fight, Isaac Hardman. As they exchange well, and good shot from Singh with the left hand as Hardman got through as well. We haven't seen him fight like this, Isaac Hardman, but he hasn't faced anything like Tay Singh. Maybe that's his whole thing, is uh, he wants to prove that he can fight his fight. Well, if he can do this and get away with it, then we know how tough he is, Isaac Hardman. We already know he can punch. We know he is filled with potential. Right now, we're seeing how tough he is. Yes, we know how tough Tay Singh is. Hardman's doing everything right as far as combinations are concerned, but he's not opening up his punches. He's not letting him. There's a good shot from nice. Hardman. That left hook was nice. Chopping left hook that got straight through onto Tay Singh. Finished the round strongly there, did Hardman. Here's the highlights from another tough round.
Yeah, great work. Singh landed the nice left down there. You can see it again. He landed it, and he did great work on the inside. He, he kind of worked Hardman up a bit, I think. Um, but you can see Hardman here just touching. Nothing really on the punches, but it was enough to knock the mouthpiece out. Anyway, Hardman did wake up later on, landing a couple of left hands. But Singh was there, throwing the big punches on the inside, coming up the middle. There's Good that work for both chopping guys. left hook from Isaac Hardman. One of his best punches of the fight so far. And that's his trainer, Jerry Murphy, who Isaac Hardman is so enamored with. They race out the center ring. A lot of intent at the start of this new round from both our fighters. Yeah, key word, intent, there you go. But Hardman seems to land many more shots. It just, it just starts the, um, it just starts the round quicker with four or five shots before Singh even responds. Treading on each other's toes like South Pause and Orthodox do. It is almost yeah, like on. Isaac Hardman is trying to prove a point here against Tay sure. Singh. Yeah, he definitely is. Oh, good shots from Singh. Great shots. And they just duck their heads into each other and punch from that position. Both seem happy to do so. Shove there from Hardman. Gave himself space, but there's no opening. He goes around the guard. and See, Singh has no answer when Hardman is on the outside just touching him. On the inside, Singh's very, very effective. That left hook is there for Hardman. Oh, box out, box out of there. Box out, fellas. To the body. There's not much exposed there from Singh, though. It's a good guard, a really strong defense. So he loves that left uppercut. Yeah, very nice. Nice left hook. Yeah, there's that left hook. It is there for Isaac Hardman. Half a step back would make all the difference. You fancy he knows that, though, don't you, Ted? Yeah, like you say, I think he's trying to prove a point, just to say, wait a minute, I can stand in there and trade with the banger, but he doesn't need to. He's a young guy, seven fights, great future ahead of himself, and he has to learn how to make fights. Good Easier. shots from Singh. Great shots. Hartman puts the hands down and takes a few more. Yeah, if you want longevity in this sport, taking unnecessary shots is not something you want to do. But he's still looking good, don't get me wrong. Here he is at range. Yeah, there you go. No, he goes back inside. Now he's at range again, and Singh closes the distance and uppercuts with the left Watch hand. Your in there. Okay, break, step back. About his 40. 50th left hand uppercut of the fight so far, Tay Singh. Yeah, you can see that's his money punch. Oh, this is a tough fight. Yeah, both guys working very, very well on the inside. To the body goes Singh, and over the top comes Hardman. Surely we have to look for the younger fighter with more finesse to kind of go through the gears and extend the pace soon. But at the moment, it's, it, it's quite even. Both guys are throwing good shots on the inside. We haven't often seen Tay Singh get tired. But you're right, there's a decade of youth on the side of Hardman, <laughs> who knows he's in a fight. And, well, highlights, you can call them that. It's just tough stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's two men happy to trade, happy to take some shots, happy to give some and trying to prove who's tougher. Yeah, this fight favours Singh for sure. And just, just both guys working well. This is the co-main in Brisbane this evening. The main event, Justice Huni and Arsene Fosso. That is next. That's Blair Studley in the corner of Isaac Hartman. Into the fourth round of this one. See the long range punches, Harden is far more effective, throwing shots that are unanswered. 
touch in there. Nice one too. 10, 11, 12 punches thrown unanswered. It's Ed, we've had three rounds so far. How have you scored them? I scored the first round for Hardman, then I scored the last two rounds even with the second round potentially going with the last round, sorry, Box potentially down, going to Hardman. But even though Hardman's thrown much more variety of punches, Singh has been very effective on the inside with uppercuts and his hooks. But from the outside, you can just see there's slightly different levels there. If Hardman stays on the outside, it's going to make it an easy night's work for him. But I've got it 29 to 30 in Hardman's favour. So a fair bit of sitting on the fence there. Got to do it sometimes, Ben. Got to do it. It is easier. <laughs> it is tough to score, though, because it depends yeah. what you're looking for. True. And these two men are just trying to break each other down. They're trying to stand in front and prove who's more rugged and who's tougher. It's not the style we've seen from Isaac Hardman before, but we think perhaps he's trying to make a point. Yeah, in the first minute of this fight, it's a much, much better round for Hardman. But when he goes on the inside, it's just touch and go, trade and trade. You hit me, you hit me I'll hit you. And that's not the kind of tactical boxing that Hardman wants to associate himself with. So let's see what the adjustments are made as the rounds go on. Interesting that in the corner of Hardman, they're happy with what he's doing. They weren't telling him to get back, to use his distance, to fight at range. So perhaps this is part of the tactic. Look, maybe this is their strategy. I mean, to be fair, they probably want to see Hardman go for a bit of a gutsy fight. And this will be a gutsy fight if he, if he chooses to do that. Um, I mean, he doesn't look hurt. He doesn't look damaged. It doesn't look like he's being pushed around too much. But it's just it's just oh, making no, the fight no. more even when it could be, you know, um, an, easier, an easier fight that he could be winning comfortably. Yeah, well, he started that first round at range. And yeah, beautiful. Ever since then, he's been... On the inside with Taish. Yeah. Even the start of this round was very, very effective. When he boxes on the outside, there's just no answer. Left hand uppercuts from Singh just pouring in. Good combination, and he chops down with that right hand again. Hardman just slid a couple through. Come on, fellas, tidy it up. Yeah, nice right hand, nice touching punches from Hardman. Singh just looks to be trying to find something from anywhere when he's on the outside. He looks a bit lost, but good, good fight, good one. Another tough round. Hardman and Singh in the trenches in Brisbane. And back of house, he's having a good time. The heavyweight, Hooney, warming up for his second professional fight. And that's the way to do it. The Cameroonian. <laughs> Dancing. From Yaoundé, the capital of Cameroon. Huge night for Arsene Fosso. What a story he is as well. And if he were to pull off the upset, you couldn't begrudge him. He sought asylum in Australia after the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games, fearing persecution by the Cameroonian government for not exposing gay athletes from his team. He was the Cameroonian, Cameroonian team vice captain, and eventually asylum was granted, but it means that he hasn't seen his wife or his three children for nearly three years. His application to bring them to Australia is now in front of the Administrative Appeals Tribunal and perhaps winning an Australian title would help things. Yeah, either maybe. way, we hope things do turn out for the very best for Arsene Fosso and he can be reunited with his wife and children very soon because he's an inspirational man. Amazing story. With yeah, the accept yeah, he deserves the very best. Yeah, with the exception of one left hand landed by Singh. On the outside, you see Harman's landed 25, 30 punches unanswered, completely unanswered. Easy night for him on the outside. Bit of stuff from Hardman, this. Beautiful. Good accuracy. Beautiful. Picked him off yeah. a couple of times, and it's just a little bit more ragged, this, from Singh. He's a little bit more hittable at the moment. Hardman doing a good job. Yeah, from the outside, Singh's looking for answers. Singh's just trying, it, 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 you know, there's, there's nothing strategic. He's just trying to land a punch in response. He's being very reactive. On the inside, he's, he's got, chance, he's got time to be proactive and just hit him first, but 
Hardman, you know, is maybe here's a bit of the commentary, Ben. He's just took a bit of heat from it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> He's always full of feedback. Isaac Hardman, really fun character. Yeah, he's got he's got good regeneration, great skill, his working body hair okay, when he boxes on the outside okay, looks beautiful. It's a it's it's a good fight. It is. It's a great learning fight for Hardman. Assuming he wins it. And when he takes that step back, he does look a lot better. Or a lot more in control at least. Yeah, exactly. Oh, watch your heads. But I think the inside work is for Hardman to learn a bit about himself. He wants to show I can do this. I can work in with a tough, rough man and not many guys tougher than um, Mr. Singh here. So, right, step back. could be a strategy. Using his feet a little bit more in this round is Isaac Hardman. Yeah, very nice. Just leaping back and giving himself that distance and throwing the shots accordingly. Singh trying to burrow in and get back where he likes it. Hardman just touching with the lead right hand, which is the beautiful punch from an orthodox to a southpaw. It's almost like the jab in reverse, and it's it's working. It's a nice range finder for him. At stages in this round, it's complimentary stuff from Tay Singh, who's happy to fight at the range that Isaac Hardman likes. It. Yeah. There he is jabbing and throwing his own shots and Hardman on the inside again. Good right hand from Hardman in counter. Yeah, good work inside from both guys. Tough stuff. As expected between Hardman and Singh, the Australian middleweight title's on the line. Hey, you see, sorry, man. Hey, you see the work on the inside. Nice left hand from Singh. Um, but for the most part, early on in this round, it was all Hardman. And he nodded that that didn't affect him when he took the left hand. Eleventh. So Can't wait to get back ringside and bring you the action. Good to see Jarvis back in the ring too. It's been a long time since Bendigo. And he's grown from a boy to a man, and we'll be seeing just how good he can be against a really tricky opponent and a good boxer in Mark Schleibs, the undefeated fighter from Melbourne. That's Friday week on Fox Sports as Isaac Hardman opens up. Better stuff this from Hardman. He's accelerated. Come on, get your hands free. Get your hands free. Box out of there. Yeah, you Box can out. see as he moves through the rounds and goes up, his, his youth, his energy is, is really showing. When he comes in from the outside and throws them long punches, it's beautiful work. Absolutely beautiful work. Good shot. Good shot. From both. Right go. hand from Hartman. Singh wore it well, but he doesn't want too many of those. Singh with his own right hand gets through. Nice right hand there. Much stronger stuff here from Hardman. But Singh, well, he's trying to show that he can tough it out at that sort of range as well. Watch your heads in there. Real battle of wills, this. Yeah, exactly right. Battle of the wills, indeed. But for each time that Singh throws one, Hardman seems to throw two. Oh, watch your heads. Box out of there. Box out. He's not putting everything okay. on these, Break, Isaac back. Hardman. Is that the next step? Yeah, exactly. You can see that he's using him as a touching point, as a range finder. But when it does open up, it looks very, very nice. He's took a good couple of shots there on the inside. So I'm sure he's answering some questions of his own. Yeah, that was oh. good from Singh. And again, Beautiful. from Singh. Works Beautiful. hard on the inside here. Oh, Hardman, Oh, he's, he's taking a lot of shots. He's taking a lot of shots. And he fires back and he turns him. And now he gets back to touching. Does he throw something big here, Isaac Hardman? Singh had the better of those, and now he's talking to him. Hooks around as Singh does the same, and Singh with a left hand, Hardman with a right hand. Okay, the heads in. go together. Break, step back. 
Step back. Oh, this is Step brutal back. stuff. Yeah, great round for Singh on the inside. Worked there. It's done really well. Plenty of punches thrown from Hardman and very effective punches thrown from Singh on the inside. So though they rock, yeah, though they rocked him a bit, you know, Hardman just keeps bouncing back. He's got good recovery skills, good recuperation skills. And he dominated the round to that point. So yeah, step back. What do you do in a scoring sense with a round like this? It was Hardman's round until that little spree. Was it enough to take it for him? No wonder. Tay Singh might be starting to feel things. The body language says he is. Here you see the work with both guys working well. Hardman throwing the nice right hand, Singh touching, touching. These guys are close, looking for, to see who can get on top of each other. And here you see great camera work with the inside work. It's just like a ball of smoke and, and all these punches coming from everywhere. It's great work on the inside. Singh was very effective. Hardman took plenty there, but turned him and threw a lot of his own. So this is a really hard fight for both of these boxers. The thing is, Tay Singh's used to this. This is what he does. Isaac Hardman. Well. These have been few and far between, and he's talking it up now. Talking himself into the fight. Let's see what he produces. The entertainment machine, the head splitter, Isaac Hardman. A nice uppercut he landed there, Isaac Hardman did. And he's content to stay on the inside and just prove his worth. That's exactly what he's here to do. Just moving nicely on the outside there, coming back with the right hand. The Get variation there from Hardman. Get your hands free, Josh. And they get back over here in the phone booth. Box out of there. Yeah, that inside work really suits him. I think he's very comfortable there with that happening. Hardman, just take half a step back and use his skills, use his combination punching. Be much, much more effective. Okay, break, step back. Nice work. Great shots from Tay Singh. Hardman led the action, but Singh finished it off, and now Hardman goes to the body well. And so does Singh, and the uppercut comes back. Come on, box out of there. Box out. Halfway through this seventh round. Yeah, it's a good learning fight for Hardman. You know he's been in a, he's been in a war, unnecessary war, I feel, but he's been in it and he's showing his work. Come on, I'd love to see him take a couple of steps back. back and throw them long range punches. Looks okay. really good when he does that. Nice right hand left up. That's slicker stuff. Beautiful. From Hardman, but then Singh sits down on his own and finishes with a nice left hand. Nice punches. He's on the chase now, is Tay Singh. Hardman just trying to give himself some range, but it was Singh. Pushing forward and closing the distance. I've <laughs> been smiling. Looking right hand from Hardman. Sing burrows in. Come on, boys, box out of there. Good work on the inside from both guys. Sing just pushing, just loving that inside work. Hardman just trying to find answers. Pushing back to try and get that range to throw them one twos. Good variety in the inside work from Tay Singh. He's finding the openings. Working hard. And Isaac Hartman raises the arms again as he likes to do at the end of these rounds. These the highlights of another tough round, Ted. Yeah, very, very tough round. Good work on the inside. Both guys throwing plenty of leather. 
connecting a lot of shots, working hard. I think Hardman is probably going to be happy with this if this was his strategy to show that he can stand in there and do what his opposition is doing. Um, as I've stated throughout the fight, he doesn't need to make it this hard, but great inside work from both guys. Great fight. December the 16th on main event television. We'll see the next step in the journey of our new star, Tim Zhu, who takes on the world-ranked Kiwi in Bowen Morgan. You can order the fight at mainevent.com.au. And don't forget the co-main, Paul Gallen, against Mark Hunt. That will be an absolute cracker as the war of words continues to build between those two heavyweights. A sporting legend and a combat sports legend in what is a very intriguing fight that everyone seems to have a differing opinion on. Similar to this fight. Mm, Lindsay yeah. wanted to predict the upset from Tay Singh. They wouldn't be disappointed with their man either who throws a good left hand on the inside there. Headbutt there too. Don't hold! Don't hold! Hardman, a dominant favourite for the fight because of the brilliant start he's made to his professional boxing career. But it was always going to be very, very tough. It always is against Tay Singh. Yeah, I think this is what he's learning here, there. Hardman. He's, he's learning that he's throwing them nice punches okay. and um, he's out. having to overcome adversity. And maybe that's why he's not putting everything into his shots because okay, he doesn't want to burn out and exhaust there. himself. But, and that creates that kind of touching and feeling and moving, but on the inside, it's just a lot of hard work from both guys. I, I believe the Harden's definitely fighting Tage Singh's fights for the most part. Here he is at range and moving. Leaping in, but taking a shot. Now back inside. Just can't keep him away. Even when he wants to, Isaac Hardman, not that he's trying all that often, still happy to fight on the inside. Mm, he is. Trying to say... I can do it that way if you prefer. Don't hold, fellas, come on. I think that'll be the talking point if he comes away with the victory in this. He'll say, look, you know, I beat him at his own game. Um, but Hardman, please take a step back. Jab, jab, work, work, and you'll see his best work come from them positions, the one-twos, the movements, as you see. And then he leans in, and it could be a way for him to take a breather or just to say, hey, I fought his fight. Nice work. Singh threw a good shot, but then Hardman gave it back with interest, and now he shoves him off, tries to get himself a bit of space to throw some shots, and you get the impression he wants to go now. Mm. <laughs> a little backhand from Singh there. Thanks, thanks, thanks. A bit of frustration from Isaac Hardman. Don't mess it up now, right? Keep it clean, both of you. Watch your hands. Back on the inside. Back in this familiar position. Come on, box out of there. Box out. Just leaning in here is Hardman, and then he shoves off to try and give himself space, but takes two chopping hooks with the left hand and another one straight down the middle. He's going to learn a lot about infighting here, Isaac Hardman, if nothing else. <laughs> Tay Singh takes a big gulp of water. <laughs> He's enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. It's Isaac Hardman. Right. Yeah, I mean, you see Singh land there, the beautiful one, two, right, left, and boom, just touching them punches when he's in range. It's very effective for him. Hardman's in there, though. He's taking the shots. He's coming back. He's thrown as good. He's thrown as just as many as he's getting. It's good inside work from both guys. Getting tough, rough and tough on the inside. Okay, so Jerry Murphy has called for a little bit more from Tay Singh. Now keep it tidy. Feeling perhaps it's starting to get away from him. How have you got it scored, Ted? 
Yeah, I've got it 79 to 75 in favor of Harden at this stage. There's been a lot of close runs on the inside that could have been scored anyway, but I just think Harden is doing, you know, the more work, the more accurate work, and just throwing more punches. That's and a when, good shot yeah. too from Hardman there. Yeah, exactly. When you see him just take off a step back, you see them four, five, six punches come in every single time. Good work from both guys, though. And then our boys, again, break, step back. There's always a spurt from Singh in every round, but yeah. you'd think that Hardman's doing enough to win most of these rounds, even though he is making it hard for himself by trying to show how tough he is. That point has been proved. Yeah, definitely. Two minutes left in round nine. Next up, Justice Hooney. Arsene Fosso, the second step in a really exciting heavyweight career. But we've got to find a winner here for Singh's Australian title first. Okay, box out of there, boys. Both holding, come on. Yeah, we do indeed this inside work, the grappling. This work on the inside, there you go. Got a jump from Singh's pushing back. Nice couple of punches there from Singh. And Hardman Shots from Singh. Yeah. Okay. Hardman back. moving back with his head in the air, just trying to look for his own shot, but he takes a few from oh, Singh, who get presses get forward. Get a bit messy here there. through round nine. Get yeah. Get three. Break, step back. My hands are on the inside. Both guys content to stay on the inside and just throw them okay, right the punches up the middle. You're both, holding. Break, step back. both of them getting pretty tired. Hardman taking some deep breaths. Break, step back. Come on, you're both starting to hold now. Really messy through the back end of this ninth round. Hardman talking to him and working well from there. Singh hooking and hooking there's a big right hand from Singh on the back of a combination not much from Hardman here no he's um might have hit a little wall maybe he has done waiting for the last round perhaps okay break step back it's coming because that is the end of round nine just one more to come in this Australian title fight. Okay, we see the work, the guys working, Hardman moving and Singh just pressing, pressing, pressing and catching him on the retreat there as, he, as um, Singh goes forward. A lot of punches thrown from both guys, Singh throwing the aggression, showing the aggression there as he pushes Hardman back. Well, they want to see Tay Singh throw caution to the wind and try and snatch what would be an unlikely victory at this stage. Talk to my fellas. Nice and tidy. And he'll work hard, no doubt about that. Tay Singh against Isaac Hardman. Yeah, great. And lots of punches from both. Great work. Better evasive work and from hold, Isaac hold, Hardman hold. as Singh gives himself space and tries to throw those big shots. Well, box out of there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, better, good fighting from Singh, but better boxing from Hardman. Come on, box out of there. As they just clinch on the inside here, looking to take the advantage Break, with the uppercuts. Good shot there from Hardman. Nice right hand that he's led with. Hasn't thrown a lot of that against the Southpaw as he takes a left hand at range from Singh. Don't hold. Come on, boys, box out of there. Break, step back. 
Yeah, good work from both guys. Singles pushing back, Hardman kind of evading, looking to throw counter shots and, um, and proactive shots at the same time. Singh working hard, but he's smothered okay. there by Hardman. And they hang on halfway through this final round. Good learning fight. Good learning fight for Hardman. Chopping right hand from Tay Singh as Hardman presses forward again. Yeah, Hardman just seems to recover just that split second quicker than, than Tay Singh. And that, I think that is the difference in this fight. I think Singh did a little bit of clock watching there, <laughs> trying to see how much. Yeah, he's had a few time good looks yeah. at the clock, and now he goes to work, and Hardman pulls out a good oh, shot yeah. on the inside. A couple of beautiful punches. Break, break, step back. Singh felt them too, and he hangs on. And perhaps there's just 30 seconds remaining in the Australian title reign of Tay Singh as Isaac Hardman presses forward and wears Ooh, a shot. He went for the fence. Come on, box out of there. That's Get what they asked for in the corner of Singh. He's got some power too when he throws it. Awake to it that time as Isaac Hardman. Yeah, great work from both guys. Just, just all our aggression to end the fight. And they trade, now awkwardly, to finish this fight. And he celebrates Isaac Hardman, what would appear to be an Australian middleweight title in his eighth professional fight. A tough fight. They left it all in the ring. Two exhausted fighters after that one, and Tay Singh, He's still recovering in the corner. Here's the highlights. Yeah, look at this work as they've gone through the rounds. I mean, um, initially, Hardman was starting off the rounds by touching, touching, touching and feeling. Then it just got became all out like aggression, standing in the middle of the ring and just throw punches. And Hardman, to his credit, fought tasting to fight well, came through it, landed some great shots of his own, but took some, I thought, unnecessary punches from Tej Singh. You can see this back and forth type of action as we go through the rounds, through the fight, just back and forth, back and forth. It was a very good and very, very entertaining fight though, as we went through the night for all 10 rounds for these titles. Great work from both guys. Nobody was particularly hurt, but um, a lot of great shots thrown on the inside. There you see Singh pressing the action as he often did. Hardman taking some good shots and returning with some wonderful receipts of his own. Yeah, real statement fight from Isaac Hardman showing he is willing to trade on yeah. the inside. He's willing to fight at close quarters. He's clearly got a bit to learn about that process, but he's made of tough stuff. He says, what now? <laughs> what have you got next? Look a bit dejected in the sing corner. An IBF belt in the offing here as well. And the barbs continue between Jerry Murphy and Isaac Hartman. <laughs> He's always so tough, Tacey. Never gives an inch. Just a daunting prospect for anyone to come up against, and it's proved that way again tonight as they shake hands. Regional WBO belt as well, available here. As these scores are just tallied up. Isaac Hardman, very confident, and there's a big difference in the body language of our two fighters. There is indeed. 
Well, the scores have been tallied. It's time to make it official. Let's find out who is the Australian champion. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 championship rounds of boxing. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Adam Height scores the contest 97-93. Hardman. Judge Phil Gregory scores the contest 96-96, a draw. And ladies and gentlemen, Judge Williams scores the contest 98-92. In favor of your winner by majority decision from the Blue Corner and New ANBF Australian, IBF Australasian, and WBO Oriental Middleweight Champion Isaac the Head. So there it is, a majority decision victory for Isaac Hardman, who is the new Australian champion in the middleweight division. He's won IBF and WBO regional belts as well. The score.